Joe, 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 Joe. Why are you Joe. declaring now? Because I'm the best, baby. That's what I do. Joe, are you Joe. Be number one pick? Of course I'm going to be the number one pick. And if there's a team picking zero, I'd be that pick, too. Welcome, SPO fans, to the 2011 draft. I have in my hand the number one overall pick. Let's find out right now. With the number one pick in the 2011 draft, it's Anthony Delacalci. With the second overall pick, it's Max Straub. With the third pick, Evan Macy. With the fourth pick, James Drizwicki. With the fifth pick, Chris Ritchie. With the sixth pick, Paul Angeli. With the seventh pick, Johnny Burnham. The eighth pick, Victor E. With the ninth pick, the subway guy? With the tenth pick, Anthony's personal stylist. And finally, it's Mr. Irrelevant, Joe Fortunato. This is Sports Page Online. If you watched last Thursday's episode of Sports Page Online, you might have seen Anthony Delacalci predict two Knicks wins at Madison Square Garden. Well, there's a reason he's no longer next to me right now. Matt, Boston won at four. That's right, Brad, and I'm not going to brag about my Celtics too much, although they will beat the Heat. I actually want to give credit to your Knicks. They played well, and I think with a couple moves in the offseason, I think they can be real contenders next year. One move, are they going to bring back Chauncey Billups? I don't think they are. I think they're going to buy him out, but they could trade him for maybe a Chris Paul or a uh, Dwight Howard. Madison Square Garden's other tenant, the Rangers, is coming off a big loss in the series to the Washington Capitals. They're going to go after Brad Richards, who's a big free agent this summer. And here's our star power, Joe and Evan. You know what they say, Joe, that April showers bring May flowers. They do, Evan, and April showers is exactly what we had this past week at the Earl Black Track Invitational. Yes, but fortunately for two local schools, the rain and bad weather did not get in the way of some stellar performances. Over at Bristol Central, Alyssa Brandt, Jacob Eschner, and Aubrey Palmquist each medaled, along with a lot of other Bristol Central runners. And over at New Britain, the 4x400 relay and a 1600 medley, medley relay were able to garner medals for New Britain as well. Sticking with spring sports, George Springer starred back home in New Britain at New Britain Stadium in a doubleheader sweep by UConn of Georgetown. Springer hit a home run in the first game and impressed the hometown crowd. Now here's Brad with a final rant. There was a lot of hype and a lot of hope for Knicks fans after they took the Celtics to the brink in the first two games of their NBA playoff series. But upon returning to Madison Square Garden, the Knicks absolutely got destroyed by the Celtics. Double digit losses each time. That is unacceptable for the Knicks. And if the Knicks actually want to make a statement, if they actually want to make a run for the NBA Finals next year, first they have to defend their home court. Second, they need another big time player. We'll see if they get it done. That's the final take and that's the final rant here on Sports Page Online.